Welcome back everybody, my name is Lois, I'm starting a new tutorial series on Maven and I'm gonna call it Maven Essential Trainings. This is for my fellow Java developers who's been watching my Java tutorials. In the future I'm planning to start a series on Java web development so we need to know Maven for those tutorials. Now let's talk about what is Apache Maven. Apache Maven is a software project management and comprehension tool based on the concept of a project object model, or you can call it POM. Maven can manage a project build, reporting and documentation from a central piece of information. This is a quote directly from Apache Maven project website. So a comprehensive definition of Apache Maven is that the Maven is a project management tool. It follows a set of standards and it includes a project lifecycle, a dependency management system and a logic for executing plugin goals at defined phases in a lifecycle. Maven is designed to provide a simple project setup that uses best practices as a guide with Maven, your project follow a consistent structure. Project becomes IDE agnostic by enforcing a consistent structure. It makes modification easier in the future when a new developer or let's say you want to introduce your project to a friend or a teacher. It also ensures that programmers always get the most recent version of compilers. So most Java projects rely on other projects, other frameworks such as open source frameworks. There are so many of them to function properly. It can be very hard to download these dependency manually and keep track of their versions as you use them in your project and that project gets bigger and bigger and it gets more harder and harder. So the Maven provide a convenient way to declare this project dependency in a separate external pom.xml file and then automatically download these dependency and allow you to use them in your project. Well, this simplifies project dependency management greatly. Palm.xml file can also serve as documentation tool conveying your project dependency on their version. Software developer refers to Maven as a build tool since it is used to build deploy artifacts from source code, right? On the other hand, if you ask a project manager, they might call it a project management tool since it follows the development lifecycle. And in reality, I think this is both. Now let's learn how to download Maven on a Windows machine and in the next video I will show you how to download Maven and install on a Mac machine and then the Linux as well. To download Apache Maven you need to open this website maven.apache.org. Once you open this website you will see a download link here. So let's click on that. Once you click on that it will take you to the next page where you can download Maven. I'm just waiting for it to open. It's kind of slow. Alright, so these are the files we have available. So we have the source zip file, source tar.gz archive file. We are interested in binary zip archive files. So I'm going to click on this link to download. And down here you can see that it's asking me to save that file. The size is 8.28 megabytes, which is pretty small. So it shouldn't take that long to download this file. Now before we uh, look at that, I just want to point out some system requirements here. So the most important thing you need to pay attention to is JDK 1.7 or above. So to use Maven, you need to have a JDK 1.7 or above. You can check that by going to command prompt and here you type a command java space dash version. And now you can see I have a version of JDK install 1.8.0 underscore 121. So I'm good to go. Let's close this. And then you need a disk space of 10 megabytes and operating system. Well, no requirement because it can be installed on any operating system. I'm going to click on open folder to open this uh, downloaded file. And now we need to extract this. I'm going to right click on that and click on extract all if you're not Windows. Now, Apache uh, basically recommends that you extract this folder into your program files. To locate a program file folders, we click on Browse, and I'm going to go to C Drive, and here we have a program file folder. I'm going to click on Select Folder, and let's click on Extract. And now you need administrative rights to write into your program file folder. Let's click on Continue, and it's going to extract Apache Maven to program files. 
and it should open that. Now I have a folder of Apache Maven 3.5.0 and at this point I have successfully downloaded and extracted Apache Maven to my program file folder. Now let's learn how to install Maven into your system. We have successfully downloaded Maven and extracted into a program file folder. And if you look at the download Apache Maven page, here we have installation instruction. I'm going to click on that and here it will give me some information about how to install Maven. The first step is ensure that we have a Java underscore home environment variable which points to our JDK installation. And then we unzip, we already actually extracted zip file. And then we need to add another path of a Maven Apache folder to the bin folder. Now let's do that. I'm going to right click on the window and I'm going to go to control panel. And here I'm going to click on the systems and then click on the systems. Sorry, that was the system and security systems. And we go to advanced setting. And then here I have environment variables. So let's click on that. And here, if you have already installed a JDK, then you will find in a system variables Java underscore home, which points to the JDK. Let me show you. If we open the file explorer, we go to C drive, program files, and here we have a Java, and this is the JDK folder. This is where JDK is installed. And now our system variable points to the same path. So if you don't have this, then you need to make sure that you have a job underscore home and the value of that is the path of your JDK folder. So for Maven, we need to go to path system variable and then we have the values there. I'm going to click on edit and now we need to have another environment variable. So we click on new and here we need to give a part of our Maven uh, installation folder. So let's look at that. So I'm going to go to program files and here I have this Apache-Maven-3.5.0 folder. I'm going to double click on that and this is where we have the bin folder. I'm going to double click on that. Now to take this part, you can click on your on the top here and then this is the path we need to use so that's what it's telling you this is where you have installed this folder so I'm going to right click on that I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back to the environment variables and click on new again I'm going to right click here and paste that path I'm going to click OK click OK click OK now we can check that installation by going to command prompt so type cmd enter one more thing I want to mention here that if you have already opened a command prompt and you're using that same window, it's not going to show you anything because we need to have a new command prompt window open to get those new path variables available for us to use. So here we have the command mvn space dash v, press enter and now it should give us this information. So it's telling me that Apache Maven 3.5.0 and we have installed that here in program files apache maven bin folder java version selling you java version java home and os name so now we have successfully installed a maven on our windows machine so in the next video we will learn how to install maven in mac and then we will start our Maven tutorial series, like how to use that with IntelliJ IDEA, what is a POM file, how to use that with Eclipse and NetBeans and so on. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.